On April 26, 1986, a massive explosion occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. As a result of this incident, the area became highly contaminated with extreme radiation, turning it into a land where life could not survive. But the concept of life is indeed remarkable and fascinating. Because, even in such heavily radiation-contaminated places, it somehow finds a way to survive. Five years after the accident, in 1991, scientists discovered a fungus growing on the walls of the reactor. At the time of discovery, this fungus was resistant to radiation, and was even growing by consuming radiation. It had found a way to survive by utilizing radiation itself. This fungus, named Cladosporium spherospermum, contained a large amount of melanin, the pigment that darkens human skin. It was using this abundant melanin to absorb harmful radiation and then convert it into chemical energy. It's somewhat akin to how plants convert carbon dioxide and chlorophyll into oxygen and glucose via photosynthesis. This process is called radiotrophic synthesis. Currently, scientists are considering using these properties of the fungus to develop a powerful protective shield for astronauts. Experiments on the reaction of fungi to space radiation have been ongoing at the International Space Station ISS, for a while now. According to experimental results, utilizing this fungus to create a thin layer of around 2 mm can block or absorb 2% of space radiation. Space radiation includes not only ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays from the Sun, but also a large number of superfast atomic particles known as galactic cosmic rays from outside the solar system. Repeated exposure to such space radiation, causing DNA damage, can lead to cancer and potentially fatal radiation sickness. In future manned missions to Mars, astronauts could be massively exposed to such space radiation. But if we can harness this fungus effectively, it could serve to protect astronauts from such intense space radiation. Scientists believe that if they can cultivate the fungus up to a thickness of 21 centimeters, it could potentially block 100% of space radiation. Due to its thickness, it could be better suited for constructing bases during Mars or Moon missions rather than being used directly in spacesuits. Additionally, being lightweight at a few grams, it can serve as effective radiation shielding when placed in insulation walls and supplied with water. Furthermore, this fungus has the ability to regenerate by cloning itself. Even after being damaged by intense radiation, it can quickly recover and return to its original state within a few days. However, the current shielding methods using lead or water have drawbacks of being heavy and expensive, unlike this fungus-based solution. Continued research on this fungus could lead to the construction of bases on the Moon and Mars with even lower costs and higher stability. Perhaps it could be utilized in our daily lives even before its application in space exploration. NASA is considering applying the radiation absorption capabilities of this fungus to portable devices. In the future, we may see the emergence of even more powerful sunscreens or entirely new radiation-blocking creams. Scientists are currently experimenting on the International Space Station to test if melanin pigment alone can block space radiation. Yeah.